Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to another video. So as you can see, this isn't our usual setup. You aren't just looking at my hands and a green cotton mat. So for this video, I wanted to show you a new storage solution that I've purchased um, and we're going to go through how we're going to kind of organise that. But I thought it's not really the kind of video that I could do shooting it down. So I have come in front of the camera. I'm going to show you just a little bit around my craft space and then we're going to get into my new storage solution. So the first thing I want to just draw your attention to, just behind me, so I am lucky enough to have my own craft room, but I do sublet that to two little house bunnies, which is down here. So if ever in any of my videos you hear some scratching or some biting or um, sort of general running around, it's pretty much them. Every time I turn my camera on, they want to know what's going on. They are up when I always hope that they would just nap, but they never do. So again, if ever you hear them, it is just those guys. So like I said, I'm just going to briefly sort of show you around my craft space. Unfortunately, it's a little bit small to show you absolutely everything and go through everything. Um, and to be honest, it's all a little bit makeshift. Unfortunately, I didn't come into this space with tons of products, certainly not all of the products that I have today, and sort of came in to design that perfect craft space. Hopefully in my next house, I will have that. But everything is just, like I said, a little bit makeshift. Um, I just deal with what I've got and I kind of expand as I get more products and need sort of better solutions, then I do kind of search for those. So let me just give you a really quick tour around my craft room. So the first area I want to show you, this is my desk. So you will notice, obviously, it's very, very messy. Unfortunately, the only way I can describe myself as a crafter is messy. So after I've finished creating a YouTube video for you guys, I then take a picture or a couple of pictures for my thumbnail. Unfortunately, at that point, I usually get up and I walk out to the computer, which is in a different room. Then when I want to come back and craft again, I find then that I've got to sit and sort of tidy up after myself from last time. I'm hoping with my new storage solution that that will kind of solve that problem for me so you can see here if we just talk sort of roughly through the area you can see up here that I do have again a makeshift camera stand so when I do make my YouTube videos for you guys I do attach my camera to this so again I made this myself just attached it to the wall and this then gives me that perfect um, downwards angle that I need to have to be able to create projects for you guys and then to be able to sort of show you in the best way. So we've got two of these drawers. So these are just three drawer towers. These are perfect. However, they do take up a lot of space on my desk. And again, our new storage solution hopefully is gonna solve that. But if I just talk you through what we've actually got, in this top one here, I have all of my alcohol markers and these are clear, which is perfect because then I can just sort of have a look through and see what color it is that I want to use. Then in this next one down, I have all of my embossing powders, my micro glaze, and that just houses them all perfectly in there. The bottom one, I have all of my Prism World of Colour ink pads. So I have just put in a craft stash order. Again, when those products arrive, I will do a little craft haul for you. And I've bought a storage solution for my ink pads because it's always really difficult if I know I want a particular colour, I have to rummage through that whole drawer to try and find it. And it's really a little bit frustrating, especially if I'm in the middle of doing something and I just want to grab it quick. The next one over at the top, I've just got a few tools. I've got my watercolour paints and just a couple of embellishments, so nothing too much in there. The next one down, I've got all of my Distress Oxide ink pads, my regular ink pads, so my Memento, my Memento Tuxedo Black ink pads, my Spectrum Noir ink pads, so they are all in that one. And at the bottom, I've got my adhesives, my foam pads, um, my glues, tape runners, everything like that perfect and I can reach for them. So normally on top of this, I do have my laptop. So when I am videoing, I am able to see what I'm doing to make sure everything is perfect for you guys to see. I do also have my heat gun, which is usually plugged in. And I've got an extension cord just at the back. Then on my desk, so again, most of this usually isn't here, but I have a pot for my scissors. I've got different pens. I've got paint brushes. I've got blending tools. Again, I've got glue that doesn't really fit um, in that drawer down there. So again, I'm really looking to kind of take a lot of this off my desk, um, sort of as much as possible. 
Okay, so next up we have this wooden unit here. So if I'm being totally honest with you, this really isn't the best unit. It's really rickety. It kind of sits to the side a little bit. And this was £45. So in comparison to, to another unit that I've got, which is the next one over, this is actually quite expensive. Um, on the top, I do tend to keep all of my envelopes that all of my sort of deliveries and things come in. Then on the next shelf down, again, trying to be just a little bit more organised. So I do have these um, clear boxes and in these then I have my different card stocks. I don't have a label maker, but I just usually cut up the packaging or just write my own. So I have my different papers here. So I've got three here with my super smooth paper, my 160 white card, and then I've got regular sort of um, printer paper, which is ATGSM. Then I've got a whole bunch of 12 by 12 pads here. Some of them just in their pads. Some of them are in clear um, sort of envelopes. I have got my um, funky foam that I use instead of using foam pads. Then I've got my Ink Me 8 by 8 inch um, pad there as well. Again, just so I can go to it really quickly and sort of just um, take some cardstock off that. The next shelf down, I have got um, a really big um, watercolour pencils set. And then I've got this whole tub that's filled with ribbon. So this is more individual ribbon that I am, I'm not able to put onto my ribbon wheel, which I've got. Um, so they pretty much have to stay in that. Then the next thing I've got is, so in one of my previous videos, I created this card here using the Paper Boutique Winter Gnomes collection. And all I've done is, again, just taken one of those clear plastic boxes. I've just made myself um, just a handmade label and I've actually stored everything within here. So if I want to make cards using this kit, all of the bits are together. If I then sort of, you know, cut up any pieces, so the little sentiments um, that I cut to create that card, I've just cut them all up, put them in a bag, and that is in there all safe and everything is together. And then I do have a separate box. I've got an uh, empty one as well. And that is then um, when I get round to organizing, organizing my um, sort of paper packs, I've got another paper boutique. That one was Once Upon a Christmas, and I'm going to do the same thing again there. So here we just sort of have a little bit of a jumble. Um, so I do have the super size. This is the ink we cardstock in the A3. Again, 300 GSM. So this is the cardstock that I always love to use. I have then got those pads that I picked up from Lidl. Again, if you've seen me mention that in a previous video, they're there. So I do have a brother scanning cut machine um, and I do keep my mat and my scanning mat here as well just to keep those tidy and flat and then I do have a scrapbook here just underneath. Then I've got this pink plastic unit here and I actually use this for all of my scraps so I have made a few videos where um, I do talk about scrap paper and what you can do with it um, and this is actually where I store it so I know you can't sort of see the whole thing um, but in this top one it's where I keep all of my offcuts for my white card pretty much white acetate um, things like that but generally just sort of white cardstock then I have one which has got all of my patterns paper in it so if I want something patterns I can go in here and just see what I've got then I've got one for all of my sort of pinks purples yellows reds um those kind of colors so all of my warmer colors and then and that goes with the gold as well and then in this bottom one i store all of my cooler colors so my blues and my greens black and silver so i keep that all in there just so i know where everything is the next thing over you can't see this but i will lift it up so you can see so i have just a stack of cards and projects that I've made through various um, videos here on YouTube, just cards that I've made for myself. So that's one of the issues that I do have is I don't always know what to do with the cards once I've finished with them. So what I am going to do is when I reach 500 subscribers, so I don't have long to go. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please do so. So when I hit that 500 um, subscriber mark I'm going to do a really big giveaway of all the cards um, and different projects that I've created across my YouTube channel so be sure to be subscribed and wait for that video to come out 
Okay, so moving on to the next shelf. So this is my other unit, and I purchased this from Ikea, and we've actually got one in the kitchen as well. So we had that one first, and I thought it'd be perfect for in here because it's not very wide, but this was only £15. And for me, the quality between this at £15 and this unit here for £45, literally this is so much better. So along here, this is where I do keep a lot of my magazines and spare things. So you can see up here, I've got magazine organisers, and that's just got different sort of miscellaneous pieces. So I've got um, newspaper, I've got sort of colouring books, tracing paper, I've got sewing patterns and, and sort of knitting patterns and things like that up there. This top one, you can't sort of see it too much, but this is filled with all of my sort of spare items. So if I've multi-bought sort of tape pens or foam rolls, uh, if I've got any sort of pen duplicates, which I have got, um, then that goes in here. So if I'm in the middle of a project or a video, and let's say my tape pen runs out, then I can literally just come up to here and I know that I'm going to have um, it in there. So when you do buy in bulk, you need some way to store it. So I just put it in this box here. The next one down, this has got my laminator, any, I've uh, got a couple of hot glue guns and just spare um, glues as well. So I have got a laser printer um, and you can then foil it with a laser. So I do have my laminator to be able to sort of do that hot foiling effect. So the next shelf down, this is probably one of the most important. So I do like to try to display some of the cards that I've made in my latest videos, um, but again, I'm sort of limited on space really on where I can display them. But the most important thing is this here. I have organized all of my magazines that I subscribe to. So I do have my Simply Cards and Paper Craft in these ones here. Well, actually I've gone into a third box now. So you can see that I've got all of my back issues from when I started my subscription. Then I've got my uh, Creative Stampin'. So again, that one's relatively new to me, but again, I like to sort of keep everything together. I do also have back issues of die cutting essentials, which came from my nan. And again, she has then given me those free items that come with it as well. So for these ones that I've received from my nan, I do have a box here which have got those items in. So if I want to reach for something, you know, I know they are both there. But what I have started doing is organizing my magazines where then I keep the magazine and the product together. So for example, this is issue 207 of Simply Cards and Paper Craft, and I'm keeping then the free item that comes with it. So if I want to create another video using this particular magazine and set, then I got it there, I don't have to go looking for it. Or if I know I wanna make a particular card or project, then I've got the set there, and if I need some more inspiration, I've got the magazine. That personally works for me, just to keep everything together. So again, that's only a relatively new system that I've adopted with my older back issues. So this is from issue 199. Again, those are then within this here. I've also got another file here, which has just got my A4 stamp set. So my Rare Earth, um, I've got a couple from Simply Made Crafts. Um, so they all go in this end one. Again, then lots of sort of different miscellaneous pieces on the end. So you can see here, I do have my brother scan and cut machine. So this is the CM900. So originally I did leave it out on my extra work surface, but I found that I wasn't using it as much as my die cutting machine. So I decided to swap them out. So this is here. So when I want to reach for it, I've got my power cable. I can literally just pick it from here. I've then got my mats back on this unit and I know where everything is. So I like to keep that there. It is expensive. So I don't want it to kind of get knocked around anywhere. So it's better for it to be just in a place by itself. Itself. Then sort of further down there are two more shelves um, and again that's just pretty much filled with miscellaneous items. The other thing I really love about this particular unit is if you've been to Ikea you've seen these boxes. So these are just clear boxes and I think they're super inexpensive but these actually are the perfect width. So if I just pop that there you can see that that fits perfectly on this shelf. Again, these top ones that I showed you, they're from, I well, certainly the top ones from Ikea, again, and it can be housed then side nuts as well, as well as these can. And these can actually fit two of these and it fits perfectly in this shelving unit. So again, if you're looking for something inexpensive, like I said, 15 pound from Ikea with those clear boxes, perfect then for keeping all of your bits and pieces together. So for a while I was doing a lot of string art. So I 
I've got all of that in here. I've got some canvases, I've got some nails, and of course I've got my thread. So it just keeps all of that together. If you look to work on particular product projects, it's just all there together and perfect. So the next thing I've got is really nothing sort of too exciting. This is just a DVD rack, again, from Ikea or a CG rack. And this is just how you sort of, again, different miscellaneous items. So I've got a tab which has got my Nouveau alcohol markers in. I've got another one which has then got glitters, sequins, we've got beads as well. Um, so again, these sort of little boxes do sort of sit in here really nicely. Um, I, I mean, these are the only three that I've got, but I don't find that I have sort of small enough products to be putting anything else in. You can see then I've got some notepads, I've got just other sort of bits of stationery, I've got some additional glues and things like that just here. So this is the last area that I've got to show you. So again, this is again a very makeshift um, sort of setup here, but I really need additional workspace. So when I don't have room on my desk, then I can come over here if I want to do some ink blending sort of away from maybe my actual card project. I don't want to get it mucky. I can come over here, do that quick, and then go back to my desk. So here, all we've got literally is just again an IKEA wardrobe shelf, um, and it's just propped onto two of these plastic towers. And these then have got quite big um, four drawers within here and this is perfect then for housing the rest of my stuff. Again, makeshift, this is just sat on top but like I said, perfect work surface. Just on top I have got my die cutter machine, so I do have the X cut and this is perfect um, if you've got thin dies or if you use those thicker dies as well because it's got just this dial here on the top and you can adjust then the space between the rollers. So just here, you can see just part of it. That is then my laser printer. Again, perfect if you want, um, well, really if you do a lot of printing, but if you want then to be able to foil with then something like a laminator, that is a perfect for that. And you can also see, again, so not only do I sublet to my rabbits, I've also got the tumble dryer in here as well. Um, again, it's just sort of a space where you've got it. But in terms of what we've got in the shelves here, so within this side this is again just got some miscellaneous bits so i do have the spectrum noir alcohol markers so there are four sets of those in here and then i've got my spectrum noir sparkle pens you see me use those quite a bit and then i've just got some other sort of different um sort of watercolor paper and sort of different papers as well in there so i'm not sure how much of this you'll be able to see so i'll try and lift them then in the next one down I've got all of my blank card bases and I've got then those clear plastic card bags as well so I've got sort of just a variety of sizes there. Next then this is where I keep any of those extra um, sort of digital stamps and papers that I download so I do keep these in here I've also got lots of sort of decoupage and sort of die cuts and things in here as well I've also got my stencil mylar in here um, as well again it's a bit of a miscellaneous drawer then the bottom one in here so in this one I've got all of my coloured cardstock and um, again I know lots of people organise things differently because I'm limited on space everything just kind of goes in a tub all together. So that's that side then on to this side so in this top one this is where I keep all of my stamps so I don't really have any sort of organization you can see that I've got um, alternate together a little bit but it's all just kind of in there again I don't have any sort of setup um, to be super organized in that sort of way the next one down then I've got all of my dies again you can see I don't really have many dies in comparison to my stamps but they have their own drawer then we've got our embossing folders and stencils in their own drawer. And then in this bottom one, which is super heavy, I have then got all of my sort of patterns papers. So six by six pads, I've got eight by eight. I've got these sort of longer um, pads as well. This is four by eight. Is it four by eight? No. Uh, so there's four, four of eight designs in there so this is 30 by 15 centimeter um, and again then I've got the other paper boutique um, sets as well so I've actually got quite a few of those paper boutique sets um, and I will be sort of organizing those in the same way again 
So now let's talk about the new storage solution that I've purchased. So the main reason that I've purchased this is because I really want to keep my desk area tidy, especially when I'm creating videos for you guys on YouTube. Um, I do find that I sort of pack myself into a really small gap and I can never really find stuff with ease. The idea behind this is to clear most of what's on my desk off it um, and really just for everything to have a really good home. So let's bring in our new storage solution. So this is the new storage solution that I've purchased. So it is this three tier trolley. So I know these have been super, super popular um, with Crafted. I know you can get them from Ikea, Hobbycraft. I know there's lots of places that you can purchase these. And I have sort of seen the price point before, but I actually purchased this from the range. And if I just show you the box, just in case you guys want to go onto their website, I will pop a link down below. But this was only $19.99. And like I said, purchased this from the range here in the UK. And I just thought that price was absolutely fantastic. So you can get this in three different colors. So you can get a black, a white, and I think it was a gray. Um, but I decided to go for the black. I hope it's not going to get sort of scratched up or anything, um, but I mean, I built this myself and really for £20, I think the quality is really good. I'm not sure what the sort of other ones from like Hobbycraft and that are. So these trays you can see are actually mesh, um, but that doesn't sort of bother me at all. And it is on wheels, which do have locks on them as well. So if you're perhaps, I don't know, somewhere on a slope, then you can um, lock those wheels and it won't move. So I'm really chuffed with actually the look of it. Um, I do think it looks really smart. Like I said, the price, I'm sure I've seen them before for sort of twice that price. Um, again, £20 I think is an absolute bargain. So like I said, I will pop a link um, to the product on the range down in the description box below. But let's go ahead and start sort of filling this and seeing how we're going to get most of, hopefully most of the items off my desk and into our three tier trolley. So now you can see that I really filled this up with all the bits and pieces that was on my desk. So let me talk you through what I've done here in this top shelf. So this top one is obviously stuff that you're going to be reaching for. It's things that you want to just be able to sort of turn to the side and go, oh, I want that. Yes, take it. Brilliant. <clears throat> so let me walk you through what you've got. So we've got this jar here, which is filled with my scissors. Also then this new toy that I purchased. Um, so this is like a die cutting brush and it also came with this mat here. So again, which is just housed on the side. Basically then if you got sort of those really intricate dies, this will then <clears throat> sort of brush over the top of your cardstock and sort of push out those little pieces. And it means then you don't have to sort of spend ages with just a pokey tool sort of poking one out. Um, at a time so perfect so that's going to go in there with the scissors because the end of it is quite chunky next up we've just got a different sort of miscellaneous stationery so we've got sort of ruler pencils pens biros that kind of thing pokey tools in there um i do have a couple of sort of not as great um score tools as well so all of that just in there fits perfect then we've got our large um tacky glue bottle i've got some baby wipes again i've got that foam so I have then got a water spritzer, so this is kind of more like a plant spritzer, but it works perfectly fine. Let's put that back in there. Then we have got this um, tub here, which is filled with the paint brushes. I've got my tweezers just on the side. So this is actually um, the second half of this here. So this came with these um, sort of rose gold blending brushes you can see here they came in a pack and um, I think I picked this up from Lidl and um, they came then with this sort of like brush holder you sort of put one end on top of the other and it's supposed to sort of just keep them all sort of nice and tidy so we've got this one which is filled with a couple of smaller um blending brushes but also then the paint brushes like you've just seen then got my bigger blending brushes in this piece then I've got two microfiber cloths. I've got one just hanging over the side and one then in there that I can just pull out when I need it. Then here I've got just one dauber that I use. This is for the tumbled glass. Um, and I just kept, so these um, clear embossing powders, I do decanter mine into a bigger tub and I have actually just purchased two more of these so there's actually about two and a half tubs um, of clear embossing powder in here you see a lot of other crafters sort of decant the ones that they use most often and um, so I've just popped that into a bigger tub unfortunately I don't really have space here at the moment so I just think that is a perfect size so these are the um, paper mania embossing powders perfect for just storing your dobbers 
then we've got my dauber that I use with my um, Tim Holtz Distress Micro Glaze. So again, I've used this quite a few times in my videos. So reach for that. So I want that to be here so I can, you know, just reach for it straight away. Then I've got this little Tupperware container. So this is just a takeaway container. So really, I'm just using what I've got around the house. I'm not sort of, you know, buying specific sort of storage solutions for things like that just use what you've got so here i've just put all my most used adhesive so i've got my tape pens i've got my double-sided tape foam pads foam roll i've actually also included then um this is the score tool that goes with my tonic studio uh, paper trimmer so i do reach for that quite often so that's just in there i've then popped my anti-static powder tool bag in a tub again so normally i was keeping this in uh its packaging that it came uh, came with but Obviously, it's just a lot easier to have it in there. I have seen as well um, a couple of people on YouTube using one of those sort of bulldog clips um, just to make it sort of handle it a lot easier. And I definitely, definitely think I'm going to get one um, and do that uh, with that. Then I've got two of my watercolour paints. So you can see here I've got my metallics, but then I've also got just my plain um, regular set of watercolours. So I use those quite often. Then I've included in this top section the two um, ink pads that I reach for most. So we've got the Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad and then my emboss embossing stamp pad that's the clear one so they're just going to tuck up nicely just on the side so loads of products here so this is pretty much everything that just sort of spanned across my desk and now i've got tons of space to be able to create um and sort of have more of those items that i need to have on my desk without sort of you know having all of this stuff on there as well so that's the top so now let's take a look at the second layer Okay, so this is then our middle section. So you can see here, so this is actually just one of the tubs that have come out of um, my three tier sort of clear tower that I've got on my desk. I've also got, I think I've got three packs of four of these small Altenew ink cubes as well. Um, I was sort of going through thinking about sort of collecting these as well. Um, so I've got three packs, but they're just sort of in there as well at the moment. Then moving into the middle, you can see just here at the front, I've got just a tower of these Distress Inks mini cubes as well. Um, so I, these are nice. I don't get on with them quite as well as what I'd like to. Um, that's why I do usually then go back to the Prism World of Colour ink pads. I do really recommend those, especially for the price point as well. And the range of colours you get, I think, is perfect. But I do have a couple of sets of these then mini ones. And then I think I've got so 12 or 13 of the Distress oxide these are the bigger three by three inch um, ink pads I don't sort of have any labels or anything for these like a lot of people have them labeled up um, I don't it's always just a case of sort of pulling out the whole set to then find the color I'm looking for eventually one day I probably will get around to or putting some labels on it or something then i've got sort of this little bit of space in the middle so the one thing that is missing from the whole of this is then my alcohol markers so i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm going to do with that i have got like a little bit of space here depends on how much space my new storage for the um ink pads take up as to sort of where i put them but I have then just got my other ink pads. So um, previously to get in the Memento ink pad, I was using these Finesse by Spectrum Noir. Um, I haven't pulled these out for a little while, but possibly if I've got them here, I might um, sort of pull them out a little bit more. Then I have got a pigment ink pad. This is the Glacier White from Ranger. I don't, again, really use this. I thought I might use this more than what I actually do. But again, if I've got it out, um, possibly might use it a little bit more and sort of experiment with it a little bit then i just got a versicolor ultimate pigment ink this is the black this was one of the very very first ink pads that i purchased um, i think i got this from hobbycraft i don't use it too much these days again because i've got sort of better ink pads but um it is still juicy surprisingly i've had it like i said probably three or four years now um and it's perfectly fine the other thing I've got in here as well is my Hunky Dory 8 by 8 inch Ink Me cardstock. So this is a 300 GSM. I know they do a thinner version or a lightweight version. I'm definitely going to pick one of those up as well. Um, just because then I love inking on it. It is obviously perfect. It's called Ink Me. Um, so definitely going to sort of look at investing in that. So again, that's then we've got sort of our ink pads um, and just some uh, cardstock that I can reach for in that middle one. So I don't know how how long this is going to stay like this the only thing that i think is going to bug me is the arm of my tonic studios paper trimmer 
because I've had it a while now it, it doesn't necessarily stay in um, so I don't want to break it so obviously I'm a bit concerned if that is sort of hanging out but just in this bottom one here so we've got the paper trimmer you can see that I've got my tonic uh, Tim Holtz stamping platform then I've got my one two three punch board by we are memory keepers so again those are the kind of things that I sort of reach for most they always end up just sort of on the floor or led up against my desk something like that so I really wanted somewhere to be able to put those just in this side, you can see the handle there to my guillotine. Um, I am, again, looking at getting a bigger guillotine because sometimes my paper trimmer doesn't quite cut all of the paper I'd like it to. So I am looking at a proper guillotine. And then I've just got my heat tool in there as well, um, just so I don't always have it plugged in. It sort of gets in the way, falls off my desk quite often. So that is perfectly housed in there. So if I'm being honest, all in all, I am actually really chuffed with this purchase. Like I said, for £20, you really can't go wrong considering, like I said previously, I've seen them for sort of double that price. Um, but yeah, super happy with it. I love how much I've managed to fit in it already. There are, like I said, a couple of tweaks and a couple of extra items I'd like to get in here. But it just means that all of that is going to be off my desk. It's going to fit perfectly just sort of in front of that unit there. As soon as I start crafting, I can pull it forward. I've got everything I need to have. Hand. Um, I don't have to go rummaging too much in my drawers and things like that. Um, I just think it's going to make life so much easier. So like I said, I will pop a link to this product down in the description box down below. If you want to check it out, head over to the range. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was only about £3.95 for delivery. Again, that's in the UK. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, if you could give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below, it's very much appreciated. And I do really appreciate all the support that you've given me over the last few months. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos. So that's it. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.